Methods for selecting attributes by marking the menus. The XID identification system works by the user selecting descriptive attributes of their plant, thus eliminating species which do not share those attributes. Attribute marking is the main way in which the user interacts with the database. In this module, we will review the methods for selecting the attributes. In the interactive menus, see the upper left window. Click the small plus box to the left of General to expand its menus. Click the small plus box to the left of Spines or Thorns. The Attribute menu opens and illustrations of the attributes appear in the right-hand pane. If the black text and images which appear in the right-hand window are distorted, please adjust your screen resolution to 1280 by 1024 or higher. If the attributes are partially hidden, placing the cursor on them will display their full text. Or you can drag the split line to the right. The number 7 appears to the left of the attribute spines on leaves and or stems. This is the number of species in the database which display that characteristic. There are five ways in which you could select this attribute. 1. The attribute name appears in a pop-up box when the cursor is placed on any of the images in the right-hand pane. Left-clicking the image of the plant with the spines on the leaves and stem will allow you to mark it as Yes, No, Or, or clear an existing mark. 2. Right-clicking on the attribute name in the menu will allow you to mark it as Yes, No, Or or clear an existing mark. 3. Double-clicking the text for spines on leaves and or stems will mark this attribute as yes. Double-clicking it again will clear the mark. 4. The yes, no, or, and clear icons are represented on the toolbar by the icons Y for yes, N for no, and eraser for clear and the word OR for OR. You may use these icons to make your selection. 5. Clicking the dotted box to the left of the attribute will allow you to mark it as YES, NO, OR, or clear an existing mark. Remember, attribute marking is the main way in which the user interacts with the database. Make sure that you are familiar with whatever method you prefer. Please watch the next video module titled Performing an Identification by Marking Attributes.